as we mentioned, this this uh, industry is, is is global and and can be only uh, profitable if you if you approach it as a global business. So you need people and you need talent that are able to work and communicate uh, in English with uh, different people across the world. So they need to be uh, comfortable with not not only uh, English to be understood on the street, but as well as a technical level, because it's going to be a working session and it's going to be uh, a lot of time we're doing a lot of uh, conference calls or on the phone. So uh, comprehension is uh, more complex. So it's really key to have a, uh, it's fundamental to have a, a very high level of, of English, of knowledge and understanding. Well, I would ask myself actually, if, in which moment you think you can make video games without knowing English? That's that's, that doesn't make much sense in a globalized world as today, because uh, when we work with publishers, when we work with other studios, it's very strange that we have a very small studio that works on itself here in Spain and doesn't have contacts to anybody else. Even if you just want to publish a small video game for iOS, for the App Store, you need to talk to Apple most of the time. You need to write emails, you need to write documentation, you need to outsource the stuff outside, either China, Germany, France, France could be anywhere. anywhere. So uh, English is, is just actually I uh, for for most of the people that I know that work in in in, in video games, they know English just by reading. They just uh, learn it by in a natural way. Uh, it's our first language when we work in video games. I, even just coding. When you code a video game, you do everything in English. You make your comments in English. You send the code to other people to review. That's that's, uh, you think in English in the end. That's, there is no other way to do it. Yeah, in, in the last year, Ubisoft Barcelona, we collaborated with uh, Ubisoft Montreal on a project called uh, Shape Up. Uh, Montreal is a bilingual city, like Barcelona, uh, but there they speak English and French. Um, so therefore, all communication, all documentation on the project was done. Uh, in English, and then we also collaborated with Ubisoft Montpellier on uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Unity. They're in southern France, they speak French, um, some of them speak Spanish, but most of them don't, so whenever there are conference calls, whenever we meet to start the project or to close the project, all meetings are done uh, in English, so yes, I think it's important uh, because English is becoming part of every project. I think we have. any any game that we do at King is a is a great example of international work and where it's absolutely necessary to to be able to speak English. So the first game that we did here in Barcelona was called Papa Per Saga, and we had the luxury of having a team where everybody could speak Spanish, which was great in the day to day work because it, it's easier for everybody to do so. But the moment that you are ramping up towards launching this game, you need to be able to talk to uh, the engineers of the, of the back end of the server side code that is common for all our games. And those guys are in Stockholm and they are Swedes or, or from different nationalities as well. So the common language is English. Once you launch, you need to talk to the marketing people who will basically run large scale campaigns uh, to get more users in there. And those, those people sit in, in London at King. So they are, they are mostly English or Australian actually in some cases. So uh, I think these are two examples where you might get by on a day-to-day, -day, uh, if you are lucky, you might get by with Spanish, but uh, it's not easier, it's harder. And the moment you want to really do something uh, and you want to grow things bigger, it's impossible to do so without being able to speak English.